Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I saved money by upcycling my dining table and I did this all for under £20 so I decided to take on this new project. Bearing in mind I've never done anything like this before. I had a certain look of what I wanted my dining table to look like. We were going to get rid of our dining table previously because it just didn't go with the decor in the room that it's in. Instead of buying a new table, why not save that money and just make this table into a new one without having to buy one. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is what the table originally looked like before I did anything to it. Um, as you can see, um, it did not really go with anything in our living room. It just stood out like a sore thumb and really it was just time for a change. We needed to change this look ASAP. So for the best results you're going to need a container and fill it with warm soapy water and take a cloth or a sponge and dampen it with the warm water and give the surface a good wipe. Make sure that the surface is completely clean of residue such as dust and grease and anything else that you can find on the table. Any residue will be picked up by the paintbrush. If you're curious as to what paints I used to paint my table, I used the shabby chic pebble grey paint and chalky white and I used a cloth closer to the end of this video along with a paintbrush. So for the top of my table I decided to go with the pebble grey paint by shabby chic. I thought it contrasted well with the chalky white shabby chic paint. I used a pot of 125ml of pebble grey chalk paint for the top of my table. That small pot managed to cover the whole top of it um, with enough left over to do another coat if I wanted to but since the paint was so thick I only needed to go over the top once so that was quite good. I thought that was quite a good value for money. So this was the next day after the paint had dried. So here I decided to get some tape to block off the parts of where I want the contrasting colour to go. So the bottom of the table is going to be white and the top will be grey.
The next day I took off the tape from around the table that was protecting it from getting um, on the other part of the table that I wanted to paint a different colour. Um, I had planned to paint the bottom half of the table white to contrast the top of the table. I used chalky white to cover the bottom part of the table. This paint seemed like a different consistency to the pebble grey paint that I used at the top. So it wasn't as thick as the pebble grey paint. So I had to go over it about two times until the wood underneath the white wasn't showing anymore. I also decided that I wasn't going to paint underneath the table because it doesn't make any sense because no one's going to see it so it's just going to be a waste of paint in my opinion. So I just left it as it was originally and I just painted the parts that people are more likely to see. I used the white paint to cover all four chairs of my dining table. However, coming towards the end of the last chair, I ran out of paint. So the 250ml paint was not enough to cover the bottom bit of the table and the chairs. After completing the table and chairs, I then went back to finish the top of the table to get a more weathered look as that's what I was going for. I used white chalky paint to just dry brush the top and I went along and I took a damp cloth and kind of smudged um, the air some of the areas to make it look more weathered. So what I did is I dampened the cloth a bit, just an old cloth, and now we're going to try and smoothen these harsh areas out. Okay, now that the table is somewhat dried, I have put some white paint and some pebble grey paint inside this bowl and now I'm going to mix it together. Right, so this is what we're working with. So I've gone over the table with um, the grey paint that I mixed and so far so good i'm just not completely happy with this section i feel like it can do a bit more with a darker um sh some darker streaks going along the grain so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some of the remaining gray pebble gray paint and do the same um technique that I use for the grey paint, the light grey paint that I mix together and just do the same thing with the cloth and wipe it where I think I put too much um, grey or white so it looks a bit more real. It looks good. It's just me. I, I just, I'm just a perfectionist. So this is a section I was kind of worried about before. Um, here it was a it was more prominent. It stood out more than it does now. Um, I can live with it. I can live with this. Uh, would 
doesn't really look perfect along the grain so I think I'll just leave it like this all I want to do now is go over with the darker grey paint over um, some of these and then I think I'll be done not sure yet but I think I'll be done As you can see here, I am using a cloth with the pebble grey paint to create contrast to make the table look like it's been weathered. Here is a close-up of what I was talking about, of how I was trying to get the weathered look by adding contrast with the darker coloured paint on top of the lighter coloured paint that I went over the table with. So after the table was dry the next day, I picked up some varnish from Wilco and I went along the surface of the table and the chairs. I did the first coat and I let it sit for 24 hours until I did the second coat and covered the table again and the chairs as well. I let the second coat sit again for another 24 hours before putting anything on top of the surface of the table and chairs. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my DIY project. I hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the final outcome of my dining table. I will insert a card up here somewhere. You can see everything that went on behind the scenes into making this video and into finishing my DIY project. It was so much that really hindered the process. If you made it to the end of this video, send me a heart emoji down in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Excuse my voice, I am currently sick with the flu and that's why I sound really hoarse right now. I hope you appreciate my effort even though I'm sick. I am posting this video for you guys to watch. All the more reason to subscribe. So please hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Bye.